quickly by show of hands, how many of you have ever taken a garden hose and placed it into the gas tank of your vehicle and turned the water on? Show of hands, please. Wow. Hmm. Let's see. That would be zero for 20 years worth of speaking. 20 years I've not seen one hand. There's a reason I make this point. Think about the things you put in your own gas tank. And I don't mean your car. I mean this automobile, this machinery that are less than loving to it. You figure it out. You fill in the blanks. That way we're not attacking a specific thing. But everything, every thought, every action, every choice falls into one of two categories in life. And I'm not up here as a know-it-all. I wanted to be a therapist. I also wanted to be a minister. I also wanted to be an actor. And the extra mile lets me do all three without a license. <laughs> so it's about being in synchronicity with yourself. If you want to operate at personal power, part of the responsibility of that is taking care of the machinery and give it what it needs before you give it what it wants. Now, notice I didn't say in lieu of, but I'll give you an example for this. Next time someone asks you to take care of their plants for the two weeks they're out of town, give it a can of Coke a day. And at two weeks, see if you still have a friend when they get back. So give yourself as much water as you can. Make sure you exercise. Make sure you've got some love going on which begins with yourself. Make sure you consciously connect with something. When you open your eyes in the morning, get dressed for the day, not just in clothing, but in attitude. Go to your attitude closet and open the door and go, what am I going to, ooh, you know, I'm going to wear love today. I'm going to put on love. Or I'm going to put on compassion. You know, most of us wouldn't dream of jumping out of the bed nude and charging off into our day. They arrest people like that. So the idea is to put on something that really in enhances life, not only for yourself, but everyone else that's breathing here on this beautiful, beautiful round ball. I started to say blound and round. It's blue and round ball in the middle of space. Okay. 